Today, Virginia is honoring Native Americans. It's Indigenous Peoples Day, which also falls on Columbus Day. Our Tracy Sears shows us how their traditions are being celebrated and why some tribe leaders say this has been a long time coming. Today, we acknowledge the past, but also celebrate the resilience and the impact of our indigenous brothers and sisters. Standing with tribal leaders on the steps of the Virginia Museum of History and Culture, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney presented a signed proclamation recognizing Indigenous Peoples Day, a holiday officially proclaimed in Virginia by Governor Ralph Northam back in 2019. We know that our city and our commonwealth share a rich history, but we are only enriched by that history when we tell the full story the good, the bad, and the ugly. While the history of Virginia's tribes goes back thousands of years, many leaders say the truth is only partially being told in history books. Teaching the correct history is really important. In January of 2018, the U.S. Congress bestowed federal recognition on seven Virginia tribes, an honor long fought for by tribal leaders, including Mattapanai Chief W. Frank Adams, a nation of nearly 600 current citizens. But Adams says access to health care and education remains a big obstacle for those in their community. Like a reservation or, or tribal properties, uh, places that we have powwows and homecomings and uh, weddings and funerals and all those things that make people come home. But he says progress is being made and he's grateful for that. I do see the, the, the tide turning slowly, but I, I see some light at the end of the tunnel and, and I give most of that credit to the younger people of the United States, of the state of Virginia, and certainly of the uh, of the indigenous tribes working together. Now, one thing that Adams and other tribal leaders also agree on is they believe that this particular holiday should be separate from Columbus Day.